watch Luke pour the molten aluminium into each of the moulds. You'll see it from a few different angles and there's a couple of bits of slow-mo in there as well. Hello, hello, welcome back to another video by Best Laid Plans. We have a treat for you today. So we went to visit Luke at Kringle Engineering and he showed us around, showed us behind the scenes and let us and you guys see exactly what goes on inside a small foundry and exactly how he makes his model engineering kits. So here you can see a few of the designs that he does. So he has several different models and designs that he makes from little wobbler engines and tiny little dynamos all the way up to uh, much, much bigger double action steam engines and pumps and all sorts of stuff like that. So it's very, very cool and very, very interesting place for us to go and have a look at. Here you can see some of the products that he's already manufactured and is getting ready to ship out to customers. This is a clip of his workshop that he has inside the foundry. We also got a sneak peek to some of the new products he'll be releasing very soon. So to do any casting, obviously you need some patterns and these are the shapes that you want to cast. This is mixed with some casting sand, which is what you can see on the screen here. So we take a container, which we call a casting flask, and inside this we put the pattern and then we mix that with the casting sand. And that's what makes the mold, which Luke will then pour the molten metal into. Watch this fall some of it off. And that means that whatever shape your pattern was will be made into a solid lump of metal. So the pattern is clamped between these two metal boxes above and below. And then he packs the sand in around it and prepares that all. This is so cool. And you reckon the Petra bonds? Because I tried making green sand and it was a nightmare. Just didn't work. Like there was so much steam coming it. out I learned, of it. I it's, it's a lot more work. He gets rid of any of the loose sand from around the flask. And then he puts it in this contraption on his work table here. And that separates the mold from the pattern which then gives the negative space where the molten metal is going to be poured into. So here you can see one half of the mold and now he's just releasing the second half of the mold from the pattern. So these two molds put together will create the top and the bottom half and the molten metal will flow inside of all of these gaps here. So next up, he has to cut a small channel and this is where he's going to pour the molten metal in. These are called sprues. <laughs> and then he dishes the top of both of these sprues so that it makes it a bit easier to pour the molten metal into. And this means he can also see when the mold is full of metal. He gives it a quick blast with some compressed air just to make sure all the loose pieces of sand are out of the way. You don't want these flowing around the mold and getting stuck inside the molten metal. And then you assemble the two halves of the mold together, secure them up, and he carries them around to his casting area. So that is the first mold complete. And so Luke repeats this process until he has six moulds, which is one full batch. I'm not about telling people how to do stuff, I'm just saying this is how I do it. And so did you design a lot of this equipment yourself then? Yeah. Like yeah. this table looks totally custom, right? Yeah, I'm a fabricator as well. <laughs> so it's been a long process learning all that hard and mostly learning the internet. Yeah. 
If you're enjoying the video guys, don't forget to give it a like and to subscribe to Best Laid Plans. And if Kringle Engineering and any of the casting that he's doing seems interesting, check out his YouTube channel as well. There's a link to his channel in the description below. I love that. That is the biggest. Started off like just making stuff in the in my kitchen on that little way, that's all I had. And here you can see the second mold getting completed. So Luke does this process another four times, creating these six moulds. So once all the moulds are complete, Luke fires up the foundry and starts melting the aluminium. So when the foundry is up to temperature, he adds more metal until he has enough to fill all six of his moulds. This batch Luke's creating aluminium castings. He does also cast things out of brass and bronze as well, but this particular one is aluminium. So once everything's melted, there is a small layer of impurities floating on the top of the molten aluminium. This is called slag and this can be easily removed just by scooping it out with a steel spoon. And so with that complete, the metal is ready to be poured out carefully into each of the moulds. So I'm going to be quiet here and let you watch Luke pour the molten aluminium into each of the moulds. You'll see it from a few different angles and there's a couple of bits of slow-mo in there as well.
Now that Luke's filled each of the moulds with molten aluminium, it's just a case of letting them cool for a bit, letting the aluminium solidify. We had a cup of tea and Luke showed me a bit more of the workshop. Okay, so now the moulds have cooled a bit, now's the fun part of opening them and seeing how each of the castings has turned out. The great thing about sand casting, even when using Petrobond and oil sands, is that you can reuse a lot of the material. So Luke is able to collect all of this sand, it goes back in a muller, and that sand is all reused in the next batch of castings. Yeah, that's lovely though. So here you can see a bunch of clips of other things that have been cast at Kringle Engineering and also some of the kits that they produce as well. I was really impressed with the kits and the quality and the fact that they all use metric bolts and also that everything that you needed for the kit was actually supplied inside the kit. I purchased several different kits from Luke and Kringle Engineering and there will be a whole bunch of videos coming of me unboxing each of those kits and then the build process of each of those kits. So if any of that interests you, make sure you subscribe and YouTube will keep you updated of when those videos become available. I really hope you enjoyed seeing behind the scenes at Kringle Engineering. I just wanted to say a massive thanks to Luke. Thanks for showing me around and uh, showing me what you guys do there. If you enjoyed the video, guys, please do subscribe to the channel. It helps promote it to other people on YouTube and maybe check out some of my other videos. Thanks again, guys. Stay safe and I will see you in a future video.